Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus and in this tutorial we are going to create our own wireframe shader inside SideFX Houdini. This works in two parts. First of all, on the geometry level, we are going to save down all the point positions of each primitive. And then we are going to use this attribute inside a shader where we ask for the distance or the shortest distance to one of those lines which will look like this in the end. All right, let's have a look um, at our new document. So we create a geometry node called mesh. Inside, we are going to take a test geometry such as the squab and delete uh, the shader. Also, we don't need all these primitive attributes so we can get rid of the material path and also delete all the groups using an asterisk. Next, we come up with our primitive wrangle, which we can call positions. So all the point positions will be saved in there. I first of all want to know a, um, well, all the points about all the points of each primitive using prim points on this current geometry stream on each primitive number. And then we are going to create an attribute called pause. And this will start off empty, but we are going to fill this based on each integer point in PTS. So for each point, we want to find out its position using the point function on the current geometry stream asking for its position. Now let's append this to our newly created pause array using pause pt. Now what we get down here is all these point positions for each point on this primitive. Or, yeah. And now we can just say we want an out node or a null node named out. Sort this nicely with L key and go up with U. Well, we here we can have a look at the wireframe define our own camera and create a custom mantra PBR node. So we have something to render. Inside the material context, we create a material builder, which we can call wireframe. Inside there, I would like to transform the current shading position to world space. and then use a snippet to define my wireframe shader. For this, I need my positions. So I bind this vector array called pause in there. And I also need a custom parameter for the stroke width. Let's call this stroke, give it a default value of 0 0.01 and feed this in there too. Next, I would like to use the stroke, the result inside a color mix. So the bias decides, decides between the first and the second color, which I promote to top. And I use the PBR diffuse as my shader of choice. So as soon as I applied the material to my mesh, we can hit render and just look into a first result, which is just displaying a pinkish surface, which is the primary color of my color mix. Now to make this actually useful, we go into the snippet, turn, now call the incoming position P, and first of all, I would like to know the number of positions. So the length of this position array is what I want to iterate over. 
and I use a for loop. I smaller num I plus plus and then I would like to know basically um, where my first point is. So position zero would be just the ith entry of my array and the next position would be position i plus one and to make sure this doesn't overflow I will just use the modulo function on the number of positions so this would start from the first point again once we're through now what I want to know is the distance towards this line so the current distance can be measured using PT lined which um, is asking for both point positions from P which is our shading position and with this loop I want to find out the shortest distance so I just initialize this with a really large number and ask whether the current distance is smaller than the overall distance and if so I will save this new record so I say dist is equal to dist cur. Once I found the shortest distance all I need to ask is whether the distance is smaller or equal than my stroke width. Let's hit render and see the result. Now we see a rather thick wireframe so you can go up one level and define the stroke width and the colors for yourself.